Hi, I'm Sandy from Lincoln to Fan Crafts. Thanks for um, stopping by. One of the questions I get asked most, I think, is um, what core wool actually is um, and how to use it. Core wool is a couple of different things. So I'm going to go through how I use it and what my preferred sort of methods for using it are. So um, my core wool, or what I consider core wool, core wool is this. It's, um, it's quite lumpy, short, but felt pretty well. Um, I'm also told that um, it can be used for spinning. It spins quite well. So that's a good sign. I tend to use this because it's quite light and airy. I tend to use this as the center or the core for my soft sculptures like pumpkins, uh, also um, like the tops of the mushrooms, the garden bases, and also um, snowmen. So anything that, that has a sort of soft center that doesn't need a lot of felting, and I want to create a really nice sort of um, cylindrical shape, then or, or a nice round shape, then that's um, what I use it for. Mushrooms as well, um, uh, it works really well for. So here we've got a mushroom and it's got a core of this wool and then what I've done is I've wrapped batting sheets around it. And the reason I like that the core wool for this is because when you just fold it up you can really quickly just get it to hold a very simple shape and then it take a minute maybe 30 seconds more to shape that but then what you use is your wool batting sheets so this is just carded wool the batting sheet is just carded wool um, that's been processed and brushed in, in lots of different directions. And this is a perfect pumpkin colour. So what I would then do is just use that core centre to wrap around the batting sheet, which and you can pull it quite tightly and then you just pull off the bits that you don't want. And then as you can see, You'd felt that in. You'd take off all the excess and then that's the start of what would be your pumpkin and then you create, it's perfect for creating all those nice um, lines around the edges so you get really nice detail and, and you can make a pumpkin, something like that, in, in, I don't know, 20 minutes, something like that, but you could, they, you know, you can use all sorts, all sorts of different colour batting sheets you can use and it's perfect for these kind of um, soft sculptures. So um, so that's really what I like to use the core wool for. Now if I was doing something life size, I would probably use this as well. Because when it comes to creating life size pieces, you are using a lot of wool. So this is quite inexpensive. Um, so I would use that for life size pieces. But because I really don't do many life size pieces, I tend to stick to, stick to um, smaller pieces like this. I would use my wool tops and I would use the same colour all the way through so I wouldn't bother with a white core simply because it's uh, it's just easier to get the shape going so a wool top is a, a wool that has been brushed in long lengths all in the same direction there's so many different wool tops I always use coarse wool tops that's my advice always get the coarsest wool top you can when you are needle felting, it felts quickly. It's as good as carded wool if you get a good coarse wool. I use all of um, the, the British coarse wools in all of my kits. So you've got a Jacob there, which is brilliant. That's a, a Shetland Moret. You have a, a Swaledale there, gorgeous coarse wool. And then that's a white Jacob. And these are all perfect for needle felting. What you don't want to use for needle felting is merino. It's just too fine. You'll be there forever and it leaves loads of needle marks. And it's just quite frustrating to work with. So when you're using a wool top, as you can see, you can shape that so quickly. And it felt really easily. 
and you see turn that and as soon as you start pushing that needle in you can use two needles if you want but one's absolutely fine and then immediately you're starting to create that shape and I just feel like I have a lot more control over that and I'm just so used to working with it. I've been working with this for what six seven years now and it's still my, my, my favorite wool to work with so it all depends on what you're making again wool tops I use for the the mice you get a nice firm finish um, you get a nice smooth finish if you use the coarse wools that's white uh, white Shetland I think on that one and the same on the mouse and then here these mushrooms that I've got here so you've got your core wool for the mushroom caps and then I've used a wool top for the mushroom bases the snail is is wool tops and then this is carded wool so you can you can use a mixture of both but when I'm doing my animals I do like it to be really firm and I like to have a lot of control so I do tend to stick to the wool tops they're just they're just what I like to work with um, again with um, say for example if you're making gnomes then the base here the base of the gnome is actually a wool top and then this hat is actually wool batting so that is this color I believe so that's like a wool batting sheet so they come in in flat sheets and it's carded in lots of and in lots of different directions now you can get the same wool but it can come in long lengths so this is long carded length so I'm just going to compare the two the wool top and the card length so when you pull the wool top apart you can see that comes away and you've got long straight fibers when you pull the carded wool it's much shorter fibers so it all depends on the application um, if you're creating something like gnome beards then you'd want to go for a wool top to get that nice smooth um, effect um, I like also to use the the carded wool for, for detail on the top of animals and, and other projects because you can really thin it out you can get a really nice natural finish to it so I tend to use that for um, embellishment adding little details um, and as I said for things like the pumpkins the soft sculpture bases mushroom caps snowman again that's a core in the center and that's wrapped um, around with the the white wall batting uh, there's another core wool that you can get now this is spinner's waist now this is much much shorter fibers so again that probably would really be best for just creating things like soft sculpture where you're actually wrapping the wool around the core base um, but the other the other white core um, can be felted it just it's just too lumpy for me and and I just I'm not that keen on on working with it for a nice firm finish again sheep this is a core of wool top it is yeah wool top um, again the face is wool top but you can do that in in batting that's that's fine that works but you just just find whatever works for you um, as you go along and you try different wools and, that, and I suggest you try them then you will find out what you like to work with and it depends what you're making um, so that's really about it I think on wools so I hope that's helped a little bit um, and now you can just go off and experiment on your own. Thanks for stopping by.